a white sand beach, a stunning sunset, a lush green hillside, a friendly face, a breathtaking view. This is Jamaica. When Christopher Columbus discovered Jamaica, he declared it the fairest island that eyes have beheld. But Jamaica is not only famous for its beauty, for this vibrant Caribbean island is also the home to some of the most talented people and the finest products in the world. By far the most treasured product of the island is rum. For this is the home of Appleton Jamaica Rum, the finest rum in the world. Today Metro Living is taking you to the prestigious Marlin Grill restaurant located at Baytown Wharf Village in Sandestin, Florida where Chef Marty Hanley will be creating some exciting recipes featuring Appleton Estate Jamaica Rum. Hi, welcome to the Marlin Grill. My name is Marty Hanley. I'm the executive chef. We're located in San Destin at the beautiful village at the Baytown Wharf. Today we're going to be preparing for you a uh, steak barbecue. We're featuring Appleton Estate's rum. We've created a, a beautiful, what we call a rum paint. Uh, we worked out a nice orange barbecue sauce that's infused heavily with the rum. We're going to put that over the top of garlic mashed potatoes and some grilled asparagus. We're going to start off with this dry aged 22 ounce porterhouse. We're going to season it thoroughly with salt and pepper. Don't be afraid of salt and pepper. A little touch of oil on top, keep it from sticking. This is the first side you're going to put down. This is the side that you're going to serve up once you serve the steak. Not too many big mysteries about cooking steaks. you got to have a hot grill. It's got to be clean. Season your product well. Oil it right before you put it on the grill. Once it's on the grill, don't mess with it. You want to leave it there. Get some good colors. You want to cook it about one quarter of the way before you even think about touching it. While the steak's working on its first set of marks before we turn it 45 degrees, let's talk about the sauces that we're planning to use this evening. The sauce that we're going to base the steak with is an orange juice and Appleton Estates barbecue sauce. It's a basic barbecue sauce with ketchup, onions, garlic, a little chili powder, peppers, and we added reduced Appleton Estates rum, uh, orange juice that was fresh squeezed, a little brown sugar, topped it off with a little cayenne pepper, salt and pepper. We're just going to use that as a brush, as a glaze on the outside of the steak. As soon as we get ready to turn that steak, we're going to season the raw side and then begin right before we flip it over and we're going to base the other side as soon as we get it turned. Now our, our finished sauce is what we're going to call rum paint. Rum paint is nearly three quarters of a bottle of Appleton Estates rum that's been flamed and reduced. Soy, honey, brown sugar. Now that the steak's had an opportunity to start to get grill marks on part of it, we're probably going to cook this steak medium rare to medium. It's got some marks on it, so we're going to take it and turn it 45 degrees. This will give those nice cross marks on it that you see when you go into a steakhouse. Now that the steak's approaching the halfway point, we're going to start basting it in our barbecue sauce. We've seasoned it already on the side that we have not started to cook yet with salt, pepper, and a little oil. We're going to brush this over the top of it very lightly. You don't want to get too much on this first side. It's going to get overly dark. You don't want it to, uh, to turn the steak black. Now you flip it. The steak should only ever be turned one time. Cook it halfway on the first side. Get your first set of marks, turn it 45 degrees, get your second set of marks, and then flip the steak once you've got it halfway to the temperature desired. As we were talking about earlier, uh, the temperature of your steak, you can tell the differences in temperature by a, a, a little thing that my grandfather showed me. You hold your thumb and your first finger together, not too tight, and touch the inside of your palm of your hand. This is a rare. The middle finger to your thumb, touch the same spot, is a medium. Your ring finger, touch the same spot, that's your well done. That's how you can gauge how your steak's gonna be without having to cut them open and lose the juice out of them. We're gonna continue basting the steak with our barbecue sauce. Our steak's approaching medium rare, maybe almost a medium. We turned it the last time. We're gonna take and finish off the dish 
with a little fresh grilled asparagus, marinated in roasted garlic, and extra virgin olive oil. It's got a little salt and pepper on it. You want to be careful, uh, two things. When you begin to put something marinated on a grill, remember that you marinated it in oil and the oil is flammable. Be careful not to get yourself burned up while you're working with the marinated vegetables over an open fire. Second of all, you want to make sure that you season everything well. The marinade doesn't have to be there for very long. Uh, we've already salted and peppered these. We're just going to grill them off lightly. A little more salt and pepper. You don't want to grill these for too long. They're fairly delicate to begin with. But you want to make sure that you've got just a little bit of the bite of the, the fresh vegetable there left at the end. We're ready to plate our entree now. We're going to start off with a little of our rum paint. Some garlic mashed potatoes. Some of our fresh grilled asparagus. This lovely barbecued porterhouse. A little of the rum paint on top. Barbecued steak over garlic mashed potatoes, fresh grilled garlic, topped off with Appleton Estates rum paint and a barbecue sauce made from rum and orange juice. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Dan at Soups. Welcome to Marlin Grill. We're going to be making some drinks with some Appleton Estate Jamaica rum. The first one's going to be Cosmo Encounter. First thing we do is add the Appleton, our triple sec. lime juice, and cranberry. Shake. Martini glass, and that's our Cosmo Encounter. And the next drink we're gonna make is Island Excitement. Appleton rum. Midori, pineapple juice, shake, back in the glass and float with roses, grenadine. And there you have island excitement. Synonymous with Jamaica, the Appleton Estate is resplendent with tradition, history, and craftsmanship, and has perfected the process of rum making into an art. Distilled from molasses, a derivative of sugarcane, rum is produced in a myriad of flavors, colors, proofs, and styles. Appleton Jamaica rums are authentically distilled in traditional copper pot stills and aged in oak barrels. Crafted by careful distilling, blending, and aging techniques, the Appleton Estate Jamaica rums are uniquely the true Jamaicans. For additional information on Appleton Estate Jamaica Rum and the spirit of Jamaica, please visit www.appletonrum.com.